Hello, this is Bishop Garland Hunt, and this is the Power of Hope Devotional. Welcome back. I appreciate those that follow me. I appreciate those that are hanging here. Listen, make a note. Tell me, hey, I appreciate what you're doing. DM me. It doesn't really matter. Just let me know that you're there. I, I, I really help help me. But I want to ask you this question now, and you have to you have to tell me: Does this is this true? How do you evaluate yourself? Are you really spiritually mature? Are you really? Are you really spiritually mature? And say, so, wow, girl, girl, Bishop Hunt. <laughs> I call myself girl. But but wow, sometimes why why would you even ask that? Because that's assuming that maybe I'm not. I've been saved for 15, 20 years. I've been in things of God for years. I've been to all the conferences. I have all kinds of tapes. I have all kind of uh, environment. I've written the Bible over. Why are you even questioning my maturity? I'm very spiritually mature. Now, somebody else that may say, hey, I'm not. I just gave my life to the Lord. But actually, I'm talking probably to you. And the reason I am, because it, this is the issue. I was talking to my congregation just this past week. And the Lord laid this on my heart and that talked to them about spiritual maturity. Now, as far as we're concerned, we, we praise the Lord. We have worship. We, we glorify God. We, we, we glorify him. We, we have time. People are in the spirit and we have miracles that go on sometimes in our congregation. I mean, God began to answer prayers. We believe in prophecy, all these things. Well, you know, the Corinthian church did the same thing. The Corinthian church did the same thing we do, and I don't know about you. I don't know what kind of church you are a part of, but I'm just saying that 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 the Corinthian church was very, very spiritual. So much so that Paul had to deal with them specifically and, and, and intentionally let them know where they were. So he, he actually gave them a, a, a harsh word. And part of it was their own spiritual maturity. He did. He had to talk with them about how spiritually immature they were. So let me just read this. It says, Dear brothers and sisters, when I was with you, I couldn't talk with you as I would to spiritual people. Wait a minute. They're, he's, they're very spiritual. What do you mean? He said, I had to talk to you as though you belonged to this world or as though you were infants in Christ. So you're saying that the Corinthian church was so much like the world that you had to teach to them like they were talking to the world or like they were infants in Christ? Oh, man, listen, Paul could not, Pastor Paul could not pastor most churches because this is way too direct. He said, listen, I can't feed you the meat. Well, that's what he said. I had to feed you with milk. I had to feed you with milk, not with solid food. When I was with you, your spiritual condition was so bad that I had to feed you with milk, not with solid food. See, see sometimes I think we think too much of ourselves. We're caught up into the world. We say we don't really need it. We're not really having time with, time with the Lord. We're really not in the word. We're not really dedicating ourselves to the Lord at that level. And we think just because we've been around the things of God or I have a church or I have a pastor that's preaching or not. But you still feel that you can you can kind of go based on history. No, no. He said where well, you are right now, regardless of how spiritual you are, regardless of that you pray in tongues or that you swing from the chandeliers, all that. That's not that. You still, I still had to give you milk. You weren't ready for strong meat. See, I wonder if you get offended at strong meat. Could, could Paul really be your pastor? Could, could Jesus really be your pastor? Because because he did not mind offending you. So many people, when they get offended, they run home, take their marbles, and go home. That's immaturity. Some people say, I'm not going to tithe anymore. Why? Because you offended me. You overlooked me. You didn't, you know, you didn't, you didn't respond well to me. So, so therefore, and this is what he says. He said, you're still controlled by your sinful nature. You're still controlled by your sin. So your sinful nature is what's causing you to lack the control. So therefore, the flesh is keeping you from maturing. That's what it says here. It says you were jealous of one another. You quarrel among one another. He said, doesn't that prove that you're controlled by your, by your sinful nature? Listen, I'm going to just ask you a question. Clearly, listen to this. Are you as spiritually mature as you think? Are you spiritually mature? I want you to go back to the basics. Go back and study the word. Go back and stand, stand before the Lord. 
Ask the Lord to help show you where you really are and start from there. See, he wants to give you strong meat, but many times he's forced to give us the milk of the word because we just aren't spiritually ready. This is Bishop Garland Hunt. This is the Power of Hope Devotional. I'll talk to you next time.